I've just put the other section on the tank, boys and girls. Good morning, welcome along to the vlog. So we're going to get stuck straight in today, and I'm going to put together this little framey frame to run down the side of the tanky tank, yes, uh, and uh, put the brackets on, and then what we'll do, we'll get it bolted to the tank, to the flue, before we decide where the bolt on the tank top's going to go. <laughs> components cut I think apart from the bolts so if we have a look how they're gonna lay it out <laughs> it looks like a really simple and effective support dead easy to make uh, all I've got to do is just make one two three four five six seven eight about ten fifteen welds and that's it we should be uh, good to give her a test or we'll drill some holes though what I should have done really was measure, mark and drill the holes in these pieces whilst they were still on the bar so I had something to hold on to but I've done that before and then when I've come in with a slitting disc I've ended up cutting them all different sizes I didn't want that today so we're gonna go with this approach <laughs> So now the trick is to uh, get the new lid and the support all put together. I've noticed that the top as well is a little bit, there's a bit of a gap between the old steel and, uh, and the lid now that we've welded that thingy onto it, the support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the old seal off and tape up on the inside and then we're going to put the new seal on while the lid is on if you get me and we're going to use the uh, the plumber's mate instead of the other chemical that we got the other sealant that we got the silicon one is a lot better than the white one so we're going to go ahead and use that ridiculous how easy it was to assemble that oh I'm so pleased just a little bit of steel does the trick
Right, that's it. We're going to wrap it up for the day, folks. It's half past six. It's really cold in here now. And uh, I think I've been standing around long enough. So we managed to tick off quite a few jobs from the list. We got the support for the condenser flue finished. That takes all the weight. It lifts it up. It's adjustable height-wise. Uh, there's no movement in it whatsoever and it's going to save me a hell of a lot of time putting together a condenser when we've had some cleaning going on in the kettle. We've also got uh, the silicon from the top of the boil kettle removed. What I decided to do was uh, remove the uh, Pureflex 40. If you remember the trial, we had the Plumber's Gold and the Pureflex 40. The Plumber's, Plumber's Gold is a proper silicon. The Pureflex is more acrylic-like, if you know what I mean. They both stood up to the heat very well, but the Pureflex started to stick the lid together. Whereas the silicon, it just uh, it's very flexible and there were no such issues once it's cured. It's cured. Also managed to take off the side frame from the heat exchanger where we have the pump mounted and that's down here. Managed to get a bit of paint onto this because it was just plain steel at the time so now uh, this will hopefully not rust anymore. Stu's in here as well cleaning up some of those casks that we got from the auction the other week and actually the insides of them are coming up pretty good after just a rinse so I have every confidence that once they've been through the caustic and acid treatment they're going to be absolutely spot on and perfect for us to put into circulation. I've ordered some uh, enamel paint from eBay in our RAL colours which is like a a light green and white. I can't remember what the RAL colours are but it doesn't really matter. So we'll be able to put the same colour band in on ours as well and get those registered with uh, the British Beer and Pub Association. I think that's who looks after it. But yeah, other than that, it's been a good productive day. I also managed to put a couple more coats of varnish onto the boil kettle and the mash tun. So that means that we're going to have a little bit more protection on there, seeing as if we ever have a boil over, you know, I tend to just wash the whole thing down. So I want to make sure that I keep the timber in as good a condition as possible and as waterproof as possible. And while I was doing that, I threw on another coat of varnish onto the deck as well that runs down the back of the uh, back of the fermenters. All the beers that we made on the weekend have had dry hop and the coconut shy has got its dry hop coconut in there but I did have a little peek today and most of it's still floating on the top so probably tomorrow I'll get in there with a sanitised spoon and we'll just see if we can't persuade it to sink a little bit. Yes, other than that I'm freaking done guys so uh, we're just going to wait for Stu to finish washing up the last of these couple of casks and then I'm off home for a well deserved warm and uh, I'll sit and edit the vlog for your viewing pleasure. And we'll see you tomorrow.